like mind reading. Now put him in a counter, which is a three B. <laughs> and I'll stop him. Stop. <laughs> there the is new forces. Now, oh, how am I doing that? Great. <laughs> Move a little bit. He seems to be voice command. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, hey, get up, walk. Let's oh, go. Oh, no, you didn't say get up, walk. <laughs> also, take the whip out of it. So he doesn't. All he's going to oh, do is come to me when I start playing with it. He's not afraid of it. We never use it. See that? He has no fear in it. So it's none of those things that's doing it. It's the, it's your feet. It's the oh, thing. It's the, your, your feet. feet. That's right. It's my body. Mm -hmm. In other words, we all talk with our bodies. Mm -hmm. It's called body language in a lot of circles. It's like a lot of you when you meet somebody on the street sometimes, off, right off the bat, you don't like them. Mm -hmm. Why? <laughs> it's because your two bodies have exchanged information before y'all talk. And probably if you don't realize you're doing that, you may give off the wrong stuff and you may say something smart because you got a bad attitude created by body language. But, and i tell you something else, don't go back and tell folks you saw a great trainer that trained the horse to do that because I did not teach him to do this. I learned this from them. If you watch that herd out there when they come up and stand around, you'll watch how they talk to each other all the time. A lot of it's your feet, a lot of it's your body. Just like now, I want him to go forward I'm going to come back in this position here. Ask him to move. See? All right. If I want to stop him, I take my feet and kind of go in this direction towards his head. And if I want him to come to me, I just back away. Now, why this is important is because when you ride them, all that movement you have on top of them means something. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people try to ride them or telling them to stop and go at the same time and go right, go left, or whatever, and the horse stays confused the whole time and ends up giving you a headache because you don't work right. Okay? So you want to learn how to communicate with most of your problems in training them is, is communication. Now, the other thing you got to understand is these animals, if you look at that dog, Carefully. Come here, Blue. Blue, come here. Blue, come here. Come here, Blue. Come on. I usually run her out of here. She don't like. Well, if you look at these dogs and look at their head and look at the horse's head, you're gonna see two distinctly different animals. Now, what's the difference of them? One of them's prey, and one of them's predator. Okay. Just like you. Humans are what? Predators. predators. All predators have the eyes in front of the head. Oh, they can right. only see in one direction. Right. Okay. All prey has eyes on the side of the head where they can see all around them because they don't want to get eaten or killed. <laughs> so by understanding the animal, <laughs> and you know, it's just like a lot of things, you want to know what you're dealing with when you deal with it. Uh, He's a flight animal, which means anytime he's afraid, he can run. all he's going to do is turn and run. He's not going to look at it and say, you know, we go out and see a bear and, and everybody goes, ooh, and he's a kid, and do I have time to get to the car, or all this jazz, you know, and the horse don't even think. As soon as he has anything insecure, he's gone. So you got to learn to handle that. And they'll tell you as you ride them when they got that on their mind. If you learn to watch the signs, because their ears will tell you, I'm looking for that bear in the woods and I'm ready to fly. Uh, and what they'll do is run off somewhere, maybe 10 or 15 feet or half a hundred yards or something, and then turn around and look at what they're afraid of. And if it's not following them, they'll relax a little bit. Say, well, I guess that wasn't much to it. As a rider, what you want to do is make them face their fear. It's like we need to learn to do that. Well, whatever you're afraid of, you need to learn to face it. And what you do with a horse, you make him look at it and make him stand there. Because if you ever turn, you can't control his run. But you can control him while he's looking at you. Okay? All right. Hey, y'all, Sergey, bring me a set of reins. So one of the first things that we're going to look at here in a minute 
is your posture because it's the key to it. How you balance yourself. Uh, so if you sit straight, then you'll like, you'll get along, and you and you actually when we teach folks riding, we don't even let them use stirrups or the saddle much at all. We want you to learn to use balance first. Okay. Now these things are pretty important. These are reins that's going to be hooked to his mouth. Watch D here, mate. And watch me. Copy me. High five. Close your hand. You want the reins to come under your little finger. Now you want to feel that horse all the time. Mm -hmm. See, I'm playing with you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Alright. You want to feel that. Now notice when I ride, this is right turn, left turn, stop. That's all I do. Now see what you've done a little bit there? So you got a little jerky. Okay. That's a little rough. Smooth. That's a little rough. Now, watch this. I want to use this hand. Hold me. I don't care how hard you have to pull. Notice when I do that, it's what? It's very gentle, though. Mm -hmm. You know, I may be strong and pull the eye teeth out of you, mm -hmm. but I do it how? Gentle. Very gentle. Okay? You don't want to do anything like mm -hmm. that. Because remember, this is tied to his mouth. Okay. Oh, okay. All right? So this is kind of right turn. Now, watch what I This is my right hand. I'm going to turn to the right. I'm going to reach over my left, hold the leather, slide my right. I'm going to pull and give. Notice even when I give, I still feel her hand. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to balance him up, which means I want his head straight. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to turn left. Reach over, slide, pull, give. Okay? Then balance back up. Now, you want to keep your hands out in front of you, in front of the saddle. If you get it back up all in here, you have no control of the horse. Oh. Okay? So what you want to learn to do, when I tell you your reins are too long, take them up. Don't do this. <laughs> okay? you know what you want to do is work your hands towards that mouth. Now, notice, all the time I'm talking to her... Mm -hmm. Watch your camera, man. We don't need to watch it. The whole time I've been doing this, I've never done what? Turn you loose. Right. Mm -mm. See, I've had contact with you the whole time. Mm -hmm. You know, whether well, i got to fix my hat or pull up my britches or whatever I'm going to do, gonna I'm going to what? Contact. I'm going to keep contact. Now, when we get on these boys, this will make them work a lot better. If you want to go forward, straighten your elbows. Straighten your elbows mm -hmm. and reach back and touch them in the rib cage. Now watch my feet. See, when I go forward, my feet go back. Now here's what most of you are going to do when you kick. Oh, no, no. You <laughs> okay? Your, so the know. kick is saying Confusion. go forward, and your hands are saying stop. 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 What's the horse going to do? Nothing. That one there won't move a muscle. So what you want to learn to do is straighten your elbows. And that's the reason if you learn to dance, or if you know how to dance, See, some of this stuff gets easier because all of this stuff with the horse is rhythmic. All of it's sensitivity. What's the reason why some guys, a lot of men have trouble riding them because they want to fix everything with a hammer. You don't want to do that. Okay? A lot of women, just like when she started off, she was a little tight, a little hard. A lot of women nowadays have gotten a little rough too instead of being soft. So what you want to learn to do with animals is be very firm but very gentle. And when you train them, that's exactly what you've got to do. If you watch me work these boys, you know, I'm going to make them mine. They're going to do what we got to do, but I'm going to be firm with them. Ooh. Who is that? Is that Misty? <laughs> Probably the cat in there. Okay. Remember Misty? <laughs> All right, now, I, I, don't want to I need a guinea pig. You want to do it? Okay. Come on. He's going to do it. Carla? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll do it. Do come on, come on. Let's go. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, need that bag, Carla. Huh? Yeah, take your bag. Need the bag. Take that bag. Take that bag.